Hey, diesel for getting around Oz off grid, and thanks for joining us. Something a little bit different coming up this episode. confusing because I didn't read the invoice uh, when I parked when I paid for this spot here basically in the email when they confirm your booking they should have a passcode to enter which was what was going on there with a the padlock so I pulled up and went hang on we've got it locked out because they closed the gates at five and it's four o'clock here now so I go oh, no we're locked out anyway I'd come back and check the check the email there it was, actually give you a code to chuck in the padlock uh, to gain access so it's actually nice to know that you're not going to be getting random people come through and obviously the only people coming in were the people that have actually paid for their spot I'll tell you what, it's a bloody beautiful country out of here Basically this trip is a, it's kind of a, a shakedown trip. Got a stack of new gear I want to try out. Basically ready for an overnight in the Wellyunga National Park. Or Wellyunga, not sure. Chuck on the screen, you can work it out for yourself. I'll chuck up on the map where it is. Basically it's, oh no, it's about 30, 40 minutes out of Perth City, out, or oh, sort of just out past the Swan Valley. Um, sort of, yeah, on the, outskirt of, on the outskirts of it, basically. I'm just here for an overnighter with Hurley, which is pretty exciting for me. I'm, always wanted to get the kids into camping and this is all the first time myself and one of the boys have actually got out and um and had a crack so while well, you know i'm pretty keen to get out camping it's been a while but i've also got a, a heap of new gear when i want to try out because there's a trip i want to do but i need to practice chasing the bird mate maggie's just sitting up in the tree there did you get him oh there's yeah. another one well, at least we know we're not alone out here. Plenty of wildlife, but um, yeah, we're basically we're out in the bush here. All that's out here is uh, some drop torts, which are just over there. There's no facilities or anything like that, hence the off grid. I'll, I'll show you around camp in a sec. Yeah, but basically, I've got some, a couple of big trips uh, next year. Ah! <laughs> 
basically got a, a couple of trips I want to do and I actually want to do some off-grid trips it's no secret it's expensive to travel at the moment and obviously towing towing the camp trail or caravan anywhere in, <laughs> anywhere in Australia is bloody expensive so I want to keep doing it but obviously want to find a, a more affordable way to do it but of course you know um, as with as with my people we want to try some new things as well and try some try some new experiences and and thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel and if you haven't and you enjoy what you see subscribe and like the video if you can and um, chuck in some comments let me know what you think about this one because um, it's a bit different than what we what you've seen us do before we've based this house here so got actually got a new swag here we're trying out it's a June uh, four-wheel drive King Titan which is the Queen obviously got the stretcher bed there this is actually Hurley's first time sleeping in this wagon, isn't it? Huh. Pretty excited? And no, yeah. I slept at this at Maddie's, remember? What the swag? For our, our, our old house. Oh yeah, we set up the old swag in the house, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But we didn't get to sleep in this wag though. No. So all we got here is, I've also got the mat here, which is this is the same mat that I use for the camper trailer couple of deck chairs here and obviously just a little fold out table here with a little gas cooker a little common this one we actually used when we did some tent um, camping trips um, up north up the Exmouth way and it's basically been sitting for two years yeah pretty simple here just a few bits and pieces uh, in a little box there I've also got some I got some camping lights from um, from Kickass. I'm pretty keen to sh pretty keen to try it as well. I've got a small one and a, and a bigger one. They're actually um actually battery um, charge or USB C charge, and obviously I can do all that here. So I'll see in the car here. Excuse me, mate. So I've got the fridge in there as well, and uh, I've got the little box there which is running at the moment and charging charging the GoPro batteries there which is pretty cool um, but again this is sort of you know the first time this is the first time I actually camped off grid with the 12 volt setup that I've got so I just want to again I'll give you a look at it uh, give you a rundown of it uh, when I get to it but I actually want to test it out and properly understand it and make sure it bloody works before I actually give you you know before I get into it too far um, and of course this is just the same Rhino um, batwing awning we're using now something I did now something I have bloody used here because for those of you who have been following us you would have seen a uh, little incident I had down at Logbrook Dam and I picked up some of these bloody things here so these are drilling pegs and obviously got them on the mat here as well so that should uh, that should minimize the chance of this bloody canopy the annex actually blowing over uh, which it also did that trip and did a bladder did a bit of bloody damage so here's the sleep quarters for the night obviously I've actually never slept on a stretcher before so it's a first for me obviously we slept in swags before now uh, myself and he have done a now swag I've actually swag camp myself across the Nullarbor and from Perth to Darwin as well but um, this one here is a little bit different. But there's a reason I've gone with this one here because this one here has got the um, the crossbar there, which is again in theory allows me to put it on a stretcher and actually get off the ground in case we get a bit of um, surprise rain overnight. Whereas the other swag I've got, uh, which has been great, and I've probably had it for 12, 13 years, I think. But unfortunately, it's just one of those ones, and I'll chuck a picture up now, and you can see it. I've actually got a be able to tie it in tie it on there whereas this one I don't have to do that so that's the idea this one and obviously that means uh, we can actually take the two swags with us and myself and Neats and the two boys uh, we can all share and do some different things and uh, on this little setup here as well we've got some firewood there there's a fire pit here which we're gonna fire up in a bit and they give you a little um, little table here now obviously we won't use that because we're all set up but um, anyone you know anyone with a bloody tan or a swag could definitely come out here uh, so it costs 11 bucks for an adult three bucks 
three bucks for kids six to 15 I think it was and I just booked on the uh, the parks and wildlife website which I'll chuck on on the screen here now uh, which which was done online and there's obviously the national park fee which I think is 15 bucks per car chuck on the screen might be wrong again I'm not great with details anyway what do you reckon mate what do you reckon we fire up some dinner uh, I think we'll just have a sandwich you want a sandwich yeah yeah also this is the first time actually filming with two cameras so during the week I actually picked up uh, a cheap Hero 8 GoPro um, the 11 just came out last or well, a couple of weeks ago so we're in what are we the end of September now so I'm gonna try some different angles and different things um, thanks to all thanks to thanks to you and uh, the money we made from the channel that actually paid for the camera and actually can start and in, start investing back in the channel um, hence the the swag as well you know that was all paid for with the earnings from the channel so again thank you because um, that's allowed me to get some more things and you know do and be able to experiment a bit more now one thing i will say is there's a lot of bloody mozzies here and anyone who hasn't used a thermoset before make sure you bloody get one now this has been sitting for quite some time we'll, so we'll see if it starts up there we go now there's two different type of thermo cells there's this one here and there's another one that's sort of like a gas bottle now i've used this one before i've actually got the gas bottle one which is recommended after we use this which actually is supposed to use um it uses uses less and supposed to be less less expensive i guess because this one here you buy the pads um but these thermos cells all you generally do is i like, put them at your feet at the bottom of the table or bottom of the you know wherever you're sitting and stop with the bloody mozzies um but uh, you know we've had some pretty rotten experiences with mozzies around you know around australia at different points so this thing here is a bloody lifesaver they just you know, one thing you you forget about camping out the bush is just bugs here everywhere. So dinner tonight we're having uh I've got a scotch fillet steak here. And uh haven't had these in a while but these are baby baby spuds or baby potatoes which um bloody fantastic hey they're super easy to cook just chuck with a pan a bit of oil and they're just like small chips basically but before I do that it's only fair I pour myself a drink isn't it now it's also an area where there's no bins so um, take all your bloody rubbish with you so I obviously just use one of these and everything we got we'll take it take it back home and get rid of it there this is a light um, so it's a torch it's a torch first and foremost and so your little button at the end here goes white goes brighter goes brighter that's the one I'm actually going to bloody set up here so there's nothing uh, white lights do more than bloody attract bugs There you go, bloody police lights for kids. Tell you what, the thing gets bloody roaring hot, eh? So, chuck a bit of oil in. What are you making? Cook some spuds, mate. Well, I'm thinking of when we get back home. Yep. If it's breakfast. Yep. We can maybe go out for dinner or breakfast or lunch. 
Maybe. Maybe. I think um, we'll, we'll probably do pancakes though. Like like Something I didn't mention before was this is actually near the Swan River. In the morning I'll be able to show you, um, I think it's called, they call it Wayunga Pool. Actually be able to show you the river, um, which we only drove past driving in here, but it actually looks really nice. Um, looks like there's some burn offs going on around there, which you can see on the drone as well. But um, what do you reckon of this spot, Haley? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool, wasn't it? We did that too. Pretty cool babies. Yeah. Pretty cool babies. And uh, in the morning, I'll actually show you. I'll give you a bit more of a look around here now. Obviously, it's starting to get dark, and well, uh, I'll have this food in a sec, and we're going to fire up the. We're going to fire up the fire. So we're going to have a campfire, aren't we, Hurley? Yeah. Yep. It's pretty exciting. Woo! Um, so we've got some marshmallows. Do you want to toast them on the fire? No. No? I like You like it nice and soft, do you? Yeah. Nice and soft, Marshmallow. Nice and soft. And you can also squeeze Marshmallow's in the hole. Yeah. You know that. So. Anyway, I'll dish up this. Uh, I think my steak's just about done. One thing I did bloody forget was um, some aioli. Or some sauce. I forgot them both, mate. Yeah. Like, bro. Okay. <laughs> but, but luckily I don't like aioli or sauce. Yeah, but Lucky. This is, but this is for me then. Oh what? Bloody beautiful. Now I do have too many spuds here but I might come back and snack on those later after a couple of drinks. Hey Harry, do you want some of these chippies here mate? What? Yeah. Potato right. chips. Want to try one? I like potato chips. Ah, uh, potato chips, yeah. No, I don't want potato chips. No. I hate them. There's no trick in you, is there? What are you doing, mate? What are you doing? I'm hitting a tree. Oh, so yeah. I can get the wood. Oh, you're chopping the tree down, are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, good idea. So we can get wood. Wood for the fire? To make a house. Got me a big boy. Chuck! Yeah. Chuck! Chuck! Magic trick. So what we're going to do is light up, chuck it down in there, and I'll light this one as well. What we're going to do is you cover it and then it burns the wood. That's right. Oh! Oh. Yeah, just wait, just wait a moment, and it'll start to go up, and then we stack, stack stuff, stack the wood on around that. Okay, I think it's time. Yep. In the morning, I'll give you a, a bit more of a look around camp, but we're all set up here. Not sure if you can see me or not, but obviously got me old mate Thermosel here. And got a drink. We've got some marshmallows and. You guys have a good time and we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up here for night. I'm going to enjoy some father-son time with, with Hurley here and we're going to enjoy the night. What do you think, mate? Yeah. Pretty cool, eh? Righto, we'll catch you in the morning. No. That dog's is good. Like her. No. That tree went good. And those four went good.